Hi everybody, it's uh, Peter from uh, Halifax in Nova Scotia, Canada, and I'm uh, working with Knife Planet, as you know, and I'm going to try something a little different here in uh, today in Knife Planet's drive to um, share information about knives and uh, knife sharpening and water stones. They've taken it a step further and had their own set of water stones developed, and they've sent them to me to test them out to see what it's all about. So. Uh, they, it comes in a nice nifty box and these knives, uh, these water stones, they were, they're calling it a, a beginner set, will be available on uh, Amazon very soon at a ridiculously low cost and they'll probably put that in this video at some point. So uh, the, the kit came with this very nice little bamboo stone holder with a rubber mat on the bottom to prevent uh, slipping on a countertop and it comes with uh, two combination stones. So we've got 400, 1,000 on one stone and a 3,000 grit and 8,000 grit on the other stone. And they come in little rubber mat, rubber, rubber, rubber holders that you put the stones in and you place those inside the bamboo holder and, and you go from there. I've soaked these stones for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's, uh, that's necessary for these water stones. Make sure you soak them till the bubble stop and we'll see how they work. We'll see, see how it goes. As you know, to me, uh, successful knife sharpening is all about technique rather than water stones. But of course, it's good to have a, uh, a proper set of stones, a coarse, medium, and fine, or just uh, a decent set of water stones to, to get you going here. So these are, again, a beginner set, they're calling them. Uh, they're a little smaller than full-size stones, but they're, they're fine. They're fine to work with. Uh, 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 well, we'll see about that. The, the, again, this knife is very dull. This is just telephone book paper. So we'll hopefully by the end of this, we'll be able to get uh, get through that telephone book for book paper very soon, quick, very nicely. So I'm going to I'm not going to talk about the, my technique here. As you know, I use four levels of pressure, and we, you can just watch what I do. Okay. So 400 grit. I'm using heavy pressure here. I can see metal uh, coming off, this swarf forming on the surface of the stone, which is good. I'm using burr forming pressure. can feel a burr from heel to tip, which is good. It's a good sign. Again, burr forming pressure. Four hundred stone feels good. Starting to feel, feel a burr now. And feel a burn out from uh, heel to tip. So I formed the burr on both sides. Now it's all about burr removal pressure. So I'm reducing my pressure by 50% at least. And I go on the same stone. It's all about cleaning the edge now. Stone feels nice and stable in this bamboo holder. Very light pressure now. Okay, that's the, that's the core stone work. I check the edge under a, a light to see if I can see any reflections, which would indicate that I haven't done that uh, properly. Finished it, uh, cleaning the edge as best, best I can on that core stone. Looks okay. 
I can't see anything. We'll see if we get anywhere on this paper. So you can see that we're getting there. We'll, just, we'll keep going. Now we'll move to the uh, 1000 grit stone. So it's just a matter of taking it out of the, lifting it out and putting it back in. Very moderate pressure here. It's all about removing the burn now, cleaning the edge. This stone, 1000 stone, feels pretty nice. Okay, that's a 1,000 grit finish. Stone feels good. We could, we could actually finish that knife right there if we wanted to, and that could be the end of the day if it's sharp enough. So the edge feels, feels nice, feels sharp, feels very sharp. Nice little bit of polish to it. And we'll see how she goes through this paper. So you can see that it's going through there very nicely. It's obviously, these uh, stones will do the trick for you. So I've got a, a 3,000 grit, grit stone here. We can, remember, what we can we can finish these soft knives at 3,000 grit with good results. We can finish it at 1,000 if we want to. But since we have the stone and 3,000 grit, grit, I want to I want to keep going. So light pressure. The stone feels really nice. Very light. Remember folks, it's important to use the entire surface of the stone as, as you work. So that's a 3000 finish. Feels really good. It should go through this paper nicely. So, no problem. So, with, with this 8000 grit stone, since we have it, let's see how it feels. Uh, I'd use uh, for this particular knife, if I was going to, I wouldn't, I would have stopped at 3000 or even 1000. But since we have the 8000 grit, let's uh, see how it feels. Should feel nice, nice and slick, and, and let's just do a a stropping motion on it. Feels very nice. You can always drop your knives like this on a on your finishing stone to complete the process. Okay, that's it. I finished sharpening this knife. We'll give it one more test. This is just normal telephone book paper. It's not trick paper. It's not a tele trip. It's not a trick telephone book. So the edge looks very nice. It's nice polish to it. So as you can see, the the stones did the trick. So again, the the kit comes in a in a, a nice little package.
It'll be sold on Amazon soon. And would, do I, I recommend them? They, they, they obviously are able to sharpen a knife using the correct technique. So uh, kudos to Knife Planet for uh, making this available to you for beginners or anyone else who wants to try uh, freehand knife sharpening, which as you know is, is a, a fantastic skill to learn. And this should get you off on the right path. Thank you very much.